In this episode of Perception and the Law, Professor Atticott takes a closer look at the various types of terrorism and the role some nations play in supporting Al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups. And it all starts right now on Perceptions and the Law. seen before that there is no international definition of terrorism, but nevertheless we can adopt the definition that if you use violence towards civilians, you're a terrorist. Now what, where does terrorism emanate from? And they come from a variety of sources. We have what's called state-sponsored terrorism. That's where a nation-state intentionally targets violence against civilians, and they do it at the highest national level. And these were called state-sponsored of terrorism. Now they secretly do it, obviously. And if you ask them whether they have engaged in these terrorist attacks, they'll deny it. A second category would be state-supported terrorism. And that's where a state doesn't intentionally have their agents conduct and carry out the acts of terrorism, but they support terrorist groups in their territory that carry out the violence. A good example would be the Taliban and their state support of al-Qaeda before 9-11. Another category is sub-state terrorism. And that's where you have a nation-state um, that exists, and within that nation-state, you have a terrorist group that operates in the nation-state. The nation-state doesn't authorize it, they don't encourage it, they don't support it, they don't sponsor it, but the terrorist group operates in that nation-state. An example would be the Abu Sinri coup in Japan some years ago. They operated in Japan, uh, they carried out murders in the nation of Japan, but Japan never supported them or sponsored them. Uh, quite the contrary, they eventually were able to uh, to attack, if you will, with criminal justice, that terrorist organization. And then you have the final category, which is the lone wolf terrorist. These individuals are the most difficult to track because they operate on their own timetable. They're not necessarily tied to any nation, any group, any organization, and they can hide uh, in any nation state. And so the lone wolf terrorist is a term that describes an individual or maybe perhaps two individuals that join together to target civilians for some purpose of terror. Um, and, and that would be that category of terrorism. So it's very important to understand where does a terrorist incident emanate from? Either a state-sponsored, state-supported, sub-state, or lone wolf terrorist. date on the latest news, be sure to like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter.